Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to um, write a formula in Microsoft Word. Let's say I want to, this is the standard deviation formula, and I want to write it in Microsoft um, Word. So what you need to do is you go to Microsoft Word, and then here insert, and then you see um, equation. So I just click, and then I, I get a toolbar for all different equations, but I want to show you something very easy, even no need to use any of them if you are not comfortable with them. Uh, so there is something ink equation. So I click and I get this tab, which is very smart, very easy to work with. Um, let me um, write exactly what you see here, 25 minus 16. So it's... 20 so I'm I'm using I'm using my mouse I'm not using any other device this is the reason that my handwriting here is not really good 25 okay you see here it didn't I, I actually tried to <laughs> do it very I mean write it very uh, ugly to show you how it works so it didn't uh, it couldn't um, and get what I want to write right so you see the power is inside. So what I can do is there are two options. Number one is erase and then write again. And option number two, I will show you later. Uh, so, okay, I will show you now. Suppose, okay, it's correct, right? This is exactly what I wanted to write. But I put something here. Now it assumes is I, but it's not I, right? So another option, one, as I said, the first option is to erase this, delete this. Option number two is select and correct. So I select and then here with your mouse, Select the area, and it gives you the best option, those that are similar to what you wanted to write. And in my case, this number two. So it's corrected here, right? Very easy. Then multiply by, multiply by 0 0.3. So when you are writing, you see it's the first case is this. So be patient, just try to complete it. Then it will correct it. Yeah. Then plus, it's very smart. Uh, 15, 16. So 15 minus 16, and here the power again is 2, and okay, again I need to perhaps delete this and write it more carefully, okay, then multiply by 0. Point, 0. Point what? 0. 0.5, 0. 0.5, 0.5. And then plus, so you see it's changing and it's guessing based on the common formulas that have been used, it corrected. Next one is five minus 16. So five minus 16. And again here, power is two multiplied by 0 0.2, 0 0.2. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what they can do is yeah. Okay. Done. Um, but here I didn't really um, put a much uh, a lot of effort to write it. You can write it much better. I just wanted to show you no need to write it very nice because the system is very smart, the software is very smart, and it identifies what you want to write. I could, of course, write it more beautiful, so less correction later. But you see, it's very, and then insert. Done. And this is editable. So if you miss something, you just later add it here. Suppose I missed 0 0.2 here, multiply by, right? So it's editable and just change the font size, right? That's all. So another way is to again, go to the equation and I want to write the same formula. So uh, yeah, okay here and then inside. Okay, for the inside part, uh, First of all, let me delete this. This was something I just added. Okay, for the inside part, I just, yeah, very easy. So 25 minus 16. Um, so what I suggest, because I want this article to um, cover all 
these uh, parts. So I add one bracket here. Now I write what I want, I want here inside. So it's 25 minus 16 and power 2. So I need this uh, superscript. And then inside here is 25 minus 16 and then power is 2, right? And then multiply by 0 0.3, correct? You see the power is out of this bracket. So now I, as I'm repeating the same formula, I mean the same format. So I just here select Control C means copy plus Control V, right? As long as it's inside the highlighted area, this means you are still in this function. Now I change them. So this is 15 minus 16, and this is 0 0.3. Then next one plus. The last one is 5 minus 16, and here is 0 0.2. Finished. So there are two methods, right? There are two methods to write the same standard division formula. Now I want to show you. Uh, now I want to show you another one. This is the annuity formula. Let's say we want to write this one, right? And here, let's assume that already is one. You know, is one thousand dollars. Suppose R is one thousand dollars. So one thousand multiplied by uh, all this. So again, I go to the insert equations. And here, where is it? Ink equation. I prefer to have a larger window. And okay, um, suppose it's 1000. So it's 1000. Right. And then multiply by. And we have here 0 0.06. And we have one plus one plus zero point zero six and power is four okay and minus one. Okay, so you see it's different from what you I already wrote, right? So I select and correct. So here I want to change it to 0 0.06. And this is 4. Yes, and here is good. Okay, done. Finished. Yeah. Even if you want to add the bracket, actually no need, but anyway, for this example, no need. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted to write. So I just insert. Again, you can use the uh, toolbar to write the same. So it's 1000 multiplied by, I have a bracket. So where is the bracket? Here. And then we have, uh, where is it? Yeah, fraction. Then the box here, uh, sorry, here in we have one in bracket and power. So I go to script and this one, and inside I can now write one plus 0 0.06 and power is four. And I just, you see, I if you write minus one here, it will be added here. So I just press the uh, arrow key to the, the right to move to the right. Not too much because then you will go to the next box. So here now I write minus one. Then again, I press the key, the arrow key to the right and here 0 0.06. So again, the same thing. So up to you, right? So these are, there are two methods. You can use the uh, equation editor in Microsoft Word to write a formula.